Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Singapore Grand Prix. Uh, the nighttime parade that it was. <laughs> it's a nighttime Monaco. <laughs> uh, um, so last year, I felt Singapore really delivered. Uh, we saw a lot of DRS trains last year, but it was a little bit more excitement. So I was wondering about that. It wasn't more excitement because the first, like, because that was the Carlos Sanz only non-Red Bull win of the year. He'd given DRS to Norris, mm -hmm. right? Like, the, there was a battle for the lead. Yeah. But was the race itself more exciting? Because this race was not exciting at all. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think the Singapore Grand Prix last year was like, oh my gosh, you know, the rest of the... <laughs> the rest of the field wasn't that exciting like i thought there was a little bit more passing last year yeah um but the ending of last year made up was it. so intense was... because it wasn't just norris 25 seconds ahead it was sans using drs for the guy behind him to keep russell behind norris right so last year's ending was technical and fast and beautiful so it did offset the rest of the race that's true this year Norris won by 25 seconds, I think. Which is, congratulations, Norris. Absolutely killed Yeah, he killed started it. on pole. Started on he pole. He never lost his position. Nope. He drove off into the distance. Right. I thought I was watching Max Verstappen at one point because I was like, where's Norris? I don't know. Yeah, he was, he was never really on the screen except he almost, he's brushed the wall twice, which is the only drama in the whole race. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. There yeah. was a huge DRS train from, like... Was it? Hulkenberg down to, to 15th. So like Hulkenberg was what? Fifth. Si fifth down to like 15th. There was just all less than a second yeah. apart. So that was like fun to watch. Was it fun to not watch? Not really. No. Okay. I lied. Um, <laughs> We're not really selling this race that much. No. Um, I, I felt it was very boring. Yeah. Um, it's is, a beautiful track. It is. And I think <laughs> we made really the joke about been. Monaco earlier. And I think... Monaco would have been Monaco is probably the worst race of the year, but since it was Leclerc and he deserved it, mm -hmm. there was it, like that emotional aspect to it. Yeah. But like Norris has won a race now. He's trying to, you know, track down Max Verstappen. Max got second, so he did shrink the lead a little bit, but he was gone from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like so it was like nothing to watch. Yeah, there was never really any doubt that Norris wasn't gonna win. And like even, as soon as he like passed that first corner. And like got out of DRS zone basically from Max. It was yeah. Like, and, okay. and Max did the same to Piastri. Yeah. So it was like, it was 25 seconds from Norris to Max. Mm -hmm. And then it was 18 seconds from Max to Piastri. So it was so like. So yeah, but so the podiums was just like, okay, that's the podium. We got it. <laughs> Moving on to like, once again, let's watch. Fourth and fifth. Yeah. And, like, ooh, who's in sixth? Yeah. So. Carlo Pinto got 11th and we were like, oh, maybe um, he'll pass yeah. Perez in 10th mm -hmm. again. And then Leclerc was hunting down. Russell, but then nothing came of it. Yeah. At the end, so I thought Leclerc was gonna get fourth, but look, yeah. So that would have been cool from and, where he started. And it was ninth. a mixed up grid, right? Because Ferrari had was ninth and tenth because of the crash. Then uh, Sons crashed, and then Leclerc had his uh, lap time deleted. Lap time deleted, which is impossible to do on a, a street track. I know. I'm like, there's there's walls. <laughs> but Leclerc going? will find a way. <laughs> Leclerc's luck will find a way. Um, so you're like, oh, it's a mixed up grid. Hulkenberg's in fifth. Maybe this will, mm -hmm. and just nothing really happened. Yeah. But the championship might be on. Uh, Norris has to average 8.6 points or something like that, I think mm -hmm. is what 8. they said. 8.75. 75 five or something. Every race to win yeah. to over Max. Right. But Max so, is on podium today, so. Which is the first time in a while. Yes. It's, it's probably like six or seven races, it feels like. Mm -hmm. He used to just win all the time, but now it's like he's not even getting podiums anymore. Yeah. So. So. That'll be interesting to see. I guess that's probably the more exciting bit of the race is that there might be a, a driver title on because mm -hmm. McLaren's running away with the constructors now. So like, yeah, six races left. Yeah. But yeah. I know. Yeah. I don't know. So I guess on that bombshell of news, the other sad news and might be why the tissues <laughs> are here if that's what brought you in. Well, patience is going to be granted here. Um, they interviewed Ricardo after the race, and it kind of sounds like it might be his rat last race. He, um, he, I know. Oh my gosh. Um, he, during the interview, he said he like took his sweet time getting out of his car because that's where he felt at home. So he was like, this might be the last time. 
That's why he ended up taking the fastest lap at the end. He ended up getting driver of the day <laughs> yeah. because of it. Yeah. Um, now, taking fastest lap, as emotional as that was for him to go fast one last time, could actually prove to be vital because the Norris had the fastest lap. So that was another point off of Norris. Yeah. So it helped Max Verstappen out. So he did say he expects a Christmas gift to Max winning the title this year. <laughs> Typical Daniel Ricciardo fashion. But it's weird to see him potentially yeah. leave and, the grid. And we have about a month break. We have 28 days until the next race. So I, I it would think be the time to do everyone's it. Everyone's been talking about it. He's not performing. You got to you got to do what the team needs. And I know Lawson is there. Um, so this would be the correct time if you don't want to wait until the end of the season. So um, it's looking that way. And it's yeah. going to be, it's going to, yeah. I like the Honey Badger. Yeah, he was always a fun driver. It'll be weird to see him see him off the grid. Kind of like when Vettel left a couple years ago. Yeah. You're like, uh. I know he left after McLaren, but he was still involved and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So this feels different. Um, but yeah. yeah, we'll have to see. Like uh, you said, we have a, about 28 days, I think, until the next race weekend. It'll be in Austin. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Is that a sprint? That's a sprint. Okay. We finally have sprints back. Yeah. Um, Oh, I guess Norris's points would be a little bit different if he was winning sprints and mm-hmm. stuff based on that. Because we have, what, three sprints left? Yeah, I know. I feel like it's, like, I almost miss sprints because they've been, like, gone for so long. Yeah. <laughs> That's how bad this yeah. is. We miss sprints. Um, but, yeah, this has been kind of a downer video. It wasn't the intent. It was just nothing happened in the race. I know. We were just, I, I didn't know what else to talk about. <laughs> I felt like there wasn't a lot. And then that interview with Danny Rick, I was like, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> So like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Yeah, so this is this is it yeah. for like a month. This is what we go on. Yeah, what uh. it, like we had spas this big banger last time we had a month break, and it was like, oh, Russell's disqualified. Like, yeah, oh, like what's crazy. gonna happen on Blah. summer break? And now I'm just depressed. <laughs> Fall break is not nearly as good as summer break. No. All right. Well, on that terrible bombshell. Thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you in a month.